Hello guys and welcome back to this project series that we've been doing. So in today's video, uh, we are going to create a Python automation to delete our temporary files which will help clean up our space in our computer at uh, on everyday basis. So it is basically performing automation that performs the temporary files every day. So you don't have to go to the temp folder and delete all the files. So it will help your uh, PC become fast. So uh, when we run this code, it will be looking something like this. All the files will be deleted one by one. The temporary files and some files will not be deleted because there are some permission issues or let's say depends upon your computer. If the file has been uh, being used by some other uh, program. Okay, so let's see how you can create this code. So let's create a code. Clean temp.py okay so we are going to import three libraries the first one is your os to communicate with os the second one is your schedule so if you have not installed the schedule go to the terminal type pip3 install schedule so for me it has been already been installed so if you have not installed kindly install it then uh, we'll import time to get specific time because uh, our program is going to run on time basis okay so now we are going to create a function which will clear our temporary files so we'll say def clean temp files so what we are going to achieve in this, we are going to provide the path to our temporary files in our computer and every day at midnight, it should perform the cleanup of our computer. Okay. So we'll specify the path. We'll say temp directory is equal to, and then in string, you have to provide your path. So how can you get your path onto windows? So just press windows R key type temp temp T E M P and press enter. So this will be your temporary folder. So you can go over here and copy this location. Okay. So after getting that location, okay, I forgot to copy. So just copy this location and paste it inside this. Okay. So now we have our uh, directory in which our temporary files reside. Okay. So now what we have to do, we have to iterate through each and every file which resides in that directory. So we already have done that. So we'll just say file name in os dot this directory. Okay. So we did this in previous project. If you remember, so we'll say temp directory. And uh, what do we have to do? We'll just specify file path. File path will say is equal to os dot path. And if you remember, we used the method join. Then we'll say temp directory. And the file name, of course. Okay. So we are uh, joining the temp directory and the file name to get the full path. Okay. So now what do we have to do? Uh, we are going to delete the temporary files, which are older than 24 hours. So which have been put inside your uh, temporary folder before one day. Okay. So we have to check it. So what, how will we check it? So we'll say if OS dot path first of all we'll check is file okay we'll provide the file path okay and then we'll use the our time utility so there is a function for time then we'll say we'll again use path and we'll uh, get the time of that specific file okay And what do we have to check if it's older than 24 hours? Okay. We'll say 24 into 3600. So if it's, this is the case, it is older than 24 hours. What do we have to do? We just have to remove this. We'll say OS dot remove. And we'll, what will we provide? We'll provide the file path. Correct. And then we'll just print this to be sure if it's working or not for now.
okay so to be sure if your program is working or not it's for debugging purposes if you don't want to print it's okay but for the first time just try it out okay so our logic has been created now what we have to do we have to run this code at every day at midnight so for that purpose we are going to use the schedule library every we have a function at every then uh, we have a another attribute which is your day and we'll specify the time at what time do we have to uh, clean up so for now uh, let's say currently the time is 1919 so uh, whenever you are seeing this video provide the time after one minute to check if your program is working or not but if you want to perform this at midnight just provide 00 and 00 so uh, it, it will clean up at 12, 12 o'clock in the morning <clears throat> so now that the time has been specified just say do we have a method named do and we'll say clean temp files okay so now your code will work and it will clean up so when when you are running this code just specify the time after two or one minutes so that you get a uh, you get to check if it's been working or not okay so now we have to provide a infinite loop because we want it to run in the background always we'll say while true so it will create an infinite loop then we'll say schedule and run pending okay and also we'll uh, uh, make it sleep for some time so it doesn't consume too much too much space for your uh, CPU so after every minute it will check in every minute it will check once if uh, if it's been 12 o'clock or not so if it's 12 o'clock it will delete the temporary files okay so whenever you are seeing this video just uh, change the time over here and try to run this for me I have already deleted the temporary files so I don't have any temporary files which is which are older than uh, 24 hours but yeah you can try and run this so it won't give any output just change the time over here okay give the current time after one minute and give it some time it will take one minute to clean up because we have uh, scheduled the sleep for 60 seconds okay so yeah this is how you can automate your uh, deleting temporary files and make your pc faster so if you like this kind of videos uh, comment down in this video and like this video so we are encouraged to make more more of these videos i'll see you in the next video bye